Miami's party station, Power 96. Kato K, voice half gone after three days at Ultra Music Festival. Lucy Lopez, we have some very special guests today. Supergroups. Velvet Revolver. Huh? Okay. Right? Um, um, uh, what else? Who else? Supergroups. Uh, Stills, Crosby, and Nash. I'm trying to think of a good one. Uh, the Traveling Warberries. The, the Highwaymen. Boom. Shout out my country fans out here. The Kings of Chaos. Kings These of are chaos. all super groups, right? Yeah. And then Jack U yes. happens. Yes. Born in 2013. The parents being Diplo, Skrillex. This is like a big deal. Everybody mm. is talking about this album. Everybody is talking about the fact. And they should be. That you guys killed Ultra. That stank I was talking about. That that sticky icky that you add to a song, to an album, to a vibe, you guys did that to Ultra this weekend. Your set, hands down, the sh like the <laughs> sh amazing, amazing, amazing. Everybody's talking about it, it's all over Instagram. This kid tweets out a picture of it, it's everywhere, everybody this. Uh, how many, Kato, how many uh, streaming on uh, Spotify last week alone? 1.7 mil. 1.7 million streams just last week and that is just organic something to brag about yeah. but then you guys decide no wait we're not just gonna leave it to the internet the youtube and all that you're doing like some homegrown marketing and you're you're tipping your hat to radio why why this radio tour well, I mean, everything we've done, I've never I've never done any radio promo for any of my records. This is the first time. And um, I think Wes is similar in his previous, you know, things. Like, we, we came up completely organically in our world, and I think there was never really an avenue in the radio for what we were doing. And I think this album that we made, Jack U, naturally lends itself to so many different avenues. But obviously, like you said, like Spotify and streaming. Right. And, like, everything internet, that's what, that's the world I come from naturally so of course um yeah our fans like trade their music you know we and they and they and they're communicating and they're talking about our music and you know it's cool that these records are like kind of like reached a kind of critical mass to where people are loving them all across the board you know <clears throat> and it's all pretty much word of mouth from being yeah. great music oh hi justin bieber oh yeah justin Hello. bieber's here too hi yeah <laughs> one of the many featured albums on the album of jack here i mean along with uh, two chains missy elliott i mean yeah. How did how did that come about? She's how did a, Missy Elliott's she's a, she's relationship cool happen? She's part of the squad. Yeah. We I mean, only want to put the most amazing artists in the whole universe, and that we just picked the, our top nine at one time, and they all there they are. Do Justin. people just run to you like Skr Skrillex for real? Like if you go and you're like, hmm, I want to make an album with the uh, such and such Fulana de Tal from Hialeah. Are you like? Do, do they like yes whatever you want we'll do it is I mean, it that usually, easy for you to to troll for artists i mean for for me and and for us like you know we we came up you know making records with our friends and you know artists that we collaborated with and then careers come out of that and then you know as you know our popularities grew you know we continue just to use that same mindset you know it's it's like super organic all the people that we work with has been you know, just friends of ours, but we've met at a party or people we've, you know, met at a show. DMs or, or whatever. Or just, like, like, Twitter, you're following someone, you just DM them. And I think, like, that's the other thing, too, is, like, people don't realize it's, like, music for us is just a really fun thing to do. And there's all these politics that I think existed at one point in the industry don't, so don't we carved out our own niche in the world and the industry of how we like to work. I was just going to say, you're very responsible for that, that entire movement, the people just downloading your music, watching on YouTube, get, like, getting all this information about you. I mean, it's, it's a whole different ecosystem right, of how we exactly. work in a whole different mindset. It's like, you know, there's so many politics that um, exist in music. And, you know, I think from where, where me and Diplo come from as DJs, you know, part of what we do is <laughs> curating the culture of like what we see as the future of music as well. So um, it maybe takes a little longer to like get a record like Where Are You Now to become as popular as some of the biggest pop records. But at the same time, it's 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 um, breaking ground, so yeah. it takes one of One of my favorite things about you is that you're a big Doors fan. Yeah. I know you're big a Doors, Doors fan. fan. I know you're a Mi Miami boy yeah. at heart. Is there, is there a particular favorite bass song, Miami booty bass song, that I is mean, near and dear to your Corazon that I, love, I can hear I love, on this album? 
I love freestyle stuff. I love Don't Stop the Rock and like all those old school records. But um, pop the <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like the ghetto bass stuff too. Throw the D, <laughs> pop the. <laughs> I love uh, DJ Laz and I love uh, the old school um, MC AD. I like the old, the old stuff. You know, like that's my favorite. But I think we both love bass music. We love techno. We love Miami bass. We love electro. I mean, I think we're, the thing about me and Sunny is that we're kind of like encyclopedias of music. You know, right. And I think that because we have that history, we can make records like Where Are You Now that are like kind of like future version of that, you know? You I think take you have pieces of, of each style and you make it your own. And I think that's what's cool. Can yeah. we, can, let's talk about Where Are You Now? And <coughs> you guys shut down Ultra Music Festival with it last night. The crowd absolutely went insane when you took the stage. Yeah. Talk about the project and how it came about because this is something new for you, Justin. Yeah. Who called who? Like who texted who? Like hey, you wanted? Was it? Were you guys basically, in the studio and basically looking for a vocal? Ran in the scooter, right? We were literally at a party and we've met. We all ended up at the same party in New York Fashion Week. Uh, Usher actually brought me up on table. You were there. Scooter, who I'd known for almost ten years, um, and I've worked with Justin before. We've done. Right. We're, we're, we're acquaintances. We're friends. And um, I said, look, we got this project. I sold the scooter. Like I was literally a salesman at this party. Scooter sent me a song within like. 10 minutes on Dropbox and it was like a really strong record that Justin wrote and they were just it was like a ballad like he was sitting on I'm like yo I said Sonny man look at listen to this record we could f this record up like this is crazy you know and I think that's basically how it happened you can and cut Squirrel, well, now what did you say to that because you know Diplo you work with anybody you just work with Madonna you have Major Lazer <clears throat> you wear so many hats as a producer for you all day on the Madonna album yeah. hands shout out right. Madonna Madonna all day so for you, are you Skrillex? Are you a little bit more hesitant? Were you a little bit more like, wait a minute, this might ruin what I'm doing? Because you know everybody. Absolutely knows. not. I've never been like that. If I like something, I'll work on it. I don't care who, you know, like who you are or where you come from. I think it's so easy to discriminate on people, especially like Justin Bieber, who's like just a, been a kid that's been famous his whole life, make you know, in his in his whole life in front of everybody, you know, and. And it's so easy to judge people because, you know, you get pissed off and punch a paparazzi guy. But um, I think he's one of the most talented singers and musicians all around. He's just ripping it in drums on the last, Thanks, man. in the last studio. Deal. Also, like, ping pong skills. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but no, I, I was like, totally excited, you know, like I'm, I'm down to work. Anyway, if you have good energy and we flow and we, we vibe together and it's natural, like I'm going to I'll, I'll work. I there. think one thing about Justin that's really special is like, I don't think it's going to be an artist that's like as iconic as him. Furthermore, like what where he came up from and like how he exploded and like the like the place he has in culture is so crazy and weird and so enormous. I don't think there's gonna be another artist like that for a long time. The internet changed things, you know. He kind of came up when it was like still grassroots, and for us to work on a record with him and like with people's like perception of what he does or what we do is important to us because I think good music trumps everything. And don't you day. think? I yeah. mean, Ultra to what two years ago, right? Avicii. Everybody freaked out when they yeah. heard Aloe Black come out. And they, they were like, on that so bad. And it was like number one record right. in the yeah. universe. So Absolutely. do you think this is kind of the same effect that d the song is going to cut through anybody who might be a little skeptical at I first? Mean, I, I, I even think that like Vichy had it tougher at Ultra the other day. I think yeah. people were like, no one was booing Bieber or us while we were playing. Bieber had the no, biggest, no, Bieber no, had the no, biggest no, no. four of the entire festival. We yeah. were like, we were like, well, I don't know what people are gonna think, and like yeah. literally, it was the yeah, biggest. Yeah, I, I was really surprised because it's not, yeah, it's not my crowd. Name. You know what I mean? And so like going out there and. It helps when you have really... Diddy warm it up too. Yeah, yeah. Diddy, Diddy's, Diddy's, Diddy's gonna my, go on tour Diddy's with us forever. Dancing, by the way, and Diddy was like, "Yes, yes. Yo, get it, JV." I didn't, I didn't hear it until I saw the stream. He was screaming while you were dancing. JV, I see you. I see you. I'm like, All right. I gotta, I gotta ask you something because some of the most beautiful ballads we play, we've played on this radio station, are are from you, are Thank your you. voice and the way that you sing to these women who just mm -hmm. drool over you. And there, mu there must be a very big difference between writing a song like that and going into the studio with these guys. Yeah. I'd love for you to share with your fans, what's the difference? What's the big difference besides the shaved head and, and Diplo? <laughs> well, what I think is just like, these guys are, they're changing the game right now. <coughs> they're doing something that's n never been done. And I just, I wanted to be a part of that. So we just, I sent them the record. It was, it, we didn't actually get in the studio together. But uh, we collaborated on it, and here we are. I'm excited. I'm excited for you because I feel like this is like a hall pass. Yeah. Does it well, make sense? And it's, I don't mean a, I don't mean no, insulting. No, no, I mean good. like no, it's a I, hall pass I because completely... let me tell you, this dance community, we're mother. 
yeah. and like you you're coming in and like the kings of of this community are like are come on you. let's go I we're co-signing awesome, you let's man. go papa I that's really, big yeah no i think that this is a, a transitional period in my life and in my career and to have these guys supporting me is means the world so thank you guys oh shout out yeah man shout out jack you, you got a great yeah. voice man I mean, you're, 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 this you kid do, can like, sing crazy and he can stuff. dance now what? He can? How, yeah. Stop it. Hey, hold, well, hold on. Can you guys? Can can we get him ready for the roast? Can you guys roast him a little bit too? Just a little. Just just love, right? we, yo, honestly, <laughs> we love each other. He's like, he's the homie since day one, and I think that um he's always been into good music and supported our our movement. So I got nothing but love for Justin. You know. Amen. I have a bit of a selfish uh, request. Uh, I'm a mother. I have two kids, mm -hmm. and our favorite movie is Wreck It Ralph. Mm -hmm. And I told my daughter today. Guess who I'm talking to today? She's like, oh, I'm like, the DJ from Wreck It Ralph. She's like, at Fix at Fix It Felix's party. I'm like, yeah. She's like, where? Yeah. So, well, are you going? Are you you know continuing this whole like you know creating soundtracks? Will Jack you create a soundtrack for a, a movie? I mean, that'd be cool. I mean, I'm talking. You know, I did the the Harmony Korine film. I'm talking about doing some stuff for his new film right now and some other things. I love scoring. It's another part of. Like I get to kind of use a different part of my brain as a musician, you know, like when, right. with dance records or club records, I'm making stuff or festival records. When I get to make soundtracks or like work for other people, it's a whole different mindset. So, Diplo, like do you, music. are you dipping, don't mean to say that, I into that bit. world? Yeah, you dip when I, mean, I I've did? done soundtrack stuff before. I think, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm always down for whatever. Like I'm just, I want to just create as much as I can. While people yeah. are listening to what we're doing, it's right. important to do as much as you can, you know, because you only have a certain space in music. When people are paying attention to you, so when you when you got that attention, you got to give them as much as you can. Um, you have mad decent block parties going right. down all summer long. Shout and out to Lauderdale. We did the big one this year. Oh, the, the, always the best. Yeah. Um, and you guys have been touring as Jack. You, Justin, are you going to do more shows with these guys? More surprises in store? Anything uh, in the works? I would love to. Um, I don't think we have anything planned right now, but I'll sneak out there. You never know. What do you think about Ultra and the whole experience? It was my first time experiencing anything like it, and it was it was incredible, man. Did you love it? Such does that rub energy. off on you? Did, did when you were exposed to all those different sounds, do you think in yourself like, oh, I can envision myself doing maybe more up tempo record <laughs> or you know? For sure, for sure. I think me and these guys are gonna collaborate on my next album and do something really special. Yeah, we gotta really get world changing. So we gotta wrap up this interview. Um, on behalf of Power ninety six and pretty much the three hundred five nine five four. Well, what? Thank you, thank you so much for stopping by and for sharing your album with us. Uh, Justin, great treat to have you here today. Oh, thank you. Uh, Skrillex, huge fan. Diplo. Yeah. I would, I would booty bounce for you right now, but you my boss awesome. is standing behind me. You guys are awesome. She, want, yeah. she wants to express herself. Can we do that off yeah. camera? We'll do that. All right. Cool. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Jack, you. <clears throat> yes.